just fine, son. Of course, I still haven't made enough money to get up there to visit you. But Mr. Parsons says that maybe by Christmas we can save up enough. I don't know what I would have done without Mr. Parsons' help all these years since your daddy died and you got hurt. He's been a real savior to me. I know he's looking forward to the day when you come home just as much as I am. You and Mr. Parsons are going to be such good friends. I just know it. Mr. Parsons! Mom? It's me, Matthew. I've come home. Mom? Carry her over the threshold, Mac? Darn right. Only I don't know if my back can take it. <laughs> oh, now you know I ain't that heavy. <laughs> well, you two do make the handsomest of couples, I do oh, say. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Blanche. Let's leave these two lovebirds be on their first day as man and wife. <laughs> Come on. Oh, do you have to go? <laughs> Call me tomorrow, Daisy. Tell me everything. <laughs> Come on, Blanche. <laughs> Don't do anything I wouldn't do, honey. Oh. In that case, there ain't nothing she can't do. <laughs> Whatever is he talking about? I'll tell you all about it later. <laughs> Bye now. Happy? More than anything. When'd you get home, son? Don't you call me son. I you just... didn't tell me you were coming home. We would have... I'm home now, Ma. Oh, and I'm glad, too, son. Only you frightened us standing there like you were. We well, you thought... went and got married, Ma. Matthew, he... Well, you can call him Daddy now, because him and It's me... not my Daddy. Come on now, boy. We can, we can be good friends. Now, you just stay away from me. Stay away from me and my mama, too. You hear? Matthew, he's my husband now. Your new Daddy. You shouldn't talk to him. You married him. I went to the hospital and they gave me a claw like some freak and you married that man. Because I love him. No, you, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Look here, boy. She doesn't love you. I won't let her. Matthew. Let him go, Daisy. Just let him go. He'll be all right. But he's my boy. Well, guess that's it for now, right, Matthew? Yes, Mr. Parsons. Oh, come on, boy. You don't have to keep calling me Mr. Parsons. You don't have to call me... Poor daddy either. Just Mac. You can call me Mac like everybody does. Yes, sir. <laughs> Knock off this sir stuff. We're family now. You, your ma, and me. We're all a family now. Sir? <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what your ma's got fixed for lunch. We'll attack this damn tractor later.
doing this kind of thing in our own bedroom? Nothing wrong with doing it in our own farm. What is Mac? Oh, what would he be doing out here in the woods this time of night, huh? Mac, I, I worry about him. Oh, he'll be fine. Like I said before, he just got a lot of getting used to it, that's all. Oh, I hope so. God, I hope so. I know so. Come here. Mac. I'm here now, Daisy. I'm here. back to the house. There's no way for a newly married couple to act. Well, then. You gotta wait for me there, hon. Because I gotta check on that damn cow and see if she didn't chew through a rope again. I'll wait for you. I'll just be a minute or two. Anybody there? Daisy? Hey, who's there? Anybody there? You are. Stop this fool around, you hear? Who's in there, damn it? Matthew? You here? Who's out there? That man! Mama? Matthew! I didn't want you to see this, Mama. Matthew! It's all right. I took care of everything. We're free. Oh, my God, Matthew! It's all right, it's all right. Oh, my God, Matthew! No, no Mama. Mama, please. Listen to me, listen to me, please. Please, somebody help me, help no, me, please. Mama, no, no. Please. please don't hurt me. I've never hurt you, Mama. You shouldn't have married him, that's all. I didn't need another father. We didn't need him. I needed him. I loved him. No. No, you didn't. 
He only loves me, you and me. We didn't need nobody else, Mama. Nobody. Please. Now he doesn't have to touch you no more. I wanted him to touch me. No, you didn't. You didn't want him to touch you. You hated it. Please, no, no. You hated it. You hated it. You hated it. I'll kill you for it. Mama? Mama! Well, howdy, Matthew. Hello, Mr. Simpson. Where are you going so early in the morning? Well, I figured long as Mama got a new husband, she doesn't need me around to look after. Oh, nonsense. Your Mama loves you just as much as ever. She know you leaving home? Yes, sir. I just said goodbye to her, Mr. Parsons, too. And they don't mind you going off like this? That's the only way, sir. We're supposed to have supper with them this evening. I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind, letting a kid your age go off on his own. Um... Mama sent me by here about that, uh, Mr. Simpson. She said that maybe you ought to come over in a couple of days for supper, instead of tonight. I mean, what with me leaving and all, she just didn't feel up to it. Sure, I understand. Only, uh... uh you got a customer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, don't go nowhere for a sec, you hear? I want to talk to you about your leaving. Fill it up. Two dollars worth, and forget the front. Right. Hi. Hi. Like it? It's real nice. Hey, maybe he needs a ride. Sure. How far are you going? Well, as far as I can get, I guess. Well, get in. We'll take you as far as you can get. Thanks. That'll be two bucks, even. Two bucks, even. I say I can't talk you into staying. No, you can't talk me into staying. Ready to go? I'm ready when you are. What's your name? Matthew. What's yours? Brenda. He's Lex. Hi. We're on our way down to L.A. Our honeymoon trip. <laughs> we eloped last night. You two just got married? Anything to get her mother off my back. <laughs> you know how mothers can be. I, I'm not sure what hey, you mean. Hey, he's the first person who knows about you and me getting married. Congratulations, Matthew. No, congratulations to you. Oh, look, Lex, what a great stream. Hey, yeah. Man, that looks inviting. Let's go in. Sure. How about you, Matthew? Want to dunk your feet? I, uh, I think I'll watch. Oh, come on. You sure you'll go in, Matthew? Come on, Strings, come on. Here's a good spot, honey. Oh, I wish we had bathing suits. Come on, Matthew, you won't know. Sing. Hey. Come on, get your circulation going. No, you don't. <laughs> come on in, Matthew. This is it's too good to be true. <laughs> Come on in, boys. We'll all be one big happy family. Well, what are you waiting for? You don't want us to come out there and get you, do you? Please, Matthew. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, Matthew. Oh, For you, that's all. So we could be free. Now he doesn't have to touch you no more. Oh my you God. see that, don't you? Don't you? 
Please, don't hurt me. You don't have please. to run away from me. I, I only did it for you, that's all. No, please, don't hurt me, please. You see why I had to do this for you, don't you? Huh? Don't please. you? Please, don't. Don't you see why I had to kill him, Mama? Don't you? I, I'm not your mother. Yes, you are. You're my mama and you love me and now we're free of him. We're free. I'm not your mother. I'm not. You're joking me. I'm not your mother. Why do you say things like that? You're my mama and you love me. You're my mama. My mama. Now you, you'll stay dead. Dead, you hear me? Stay dead. Understand. Well, a friend wants me to stay here and paint. A customer wants me to go inside with him. Which one are you? I'm a friend. Well, hello then, friend. What do you think of it? Uh, your painting? Hmm? Well, it's, uh... Uh, you don't like it. Oh, yes. Yes, I do. I, uh... I like it very much. I... Tell me what it looks like to you. Oh, go on. You won't hurt my feelings. Paintings like these can be anything you want them to be. So, whatever you say can't be wrong. I, I, I'd rather not. Oh, go on. Well, it's... It's hot like the sun. All the reds and yellows. There's someone in there, burning. His skin is on fire, near the bottom where the blue is. Go on. 
He's trying to get out of the painting. He's in terrible pain. He's being punished by the sun. What's he being punished for? He's, he's being punished for... Please, go on. I want to hear. He's being punished for chopping up the man who took his mother away from him. Ah, I didn't know I was such a good artist. You are. You're... You're very good. I... I like you very much. <laughs> well, thanks. I like to be liked very much. Can I stay and talk to you? As a friend or as a customer? Oh, as a friend. I I'd like that. Hello there. Is, uh, this where Vera lives? Right. Are you Vera? In person. <laughs> hey. That's not bad. Hey, man, that's not bad at all, you know what I mean? I'm a friend of Tony Denkis. Tony Denkis? Yeah, you know, Tony, the, uh, the guy that works down the shipyard. Oh. Hey, you know, it's a funny thing, too. Uh, I was supposed to sail this morning, but, uh, well, my ship won't be ready. And, so? Uh, so I get an extra day's leave, and Tony gives me your address, and uh, it's a lucky thing, too, because, like, if I were to sail this morning like I was supposed to, I, uh... Never would have got a chance to meet you and... Uh... Is that wine for me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Tony said you liked wine. Tony was correct. You want to go inside? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, look, what about the kid here? Oh, he's cool. He's my friend. Oh, yeah? Well, let's get it on then, huh? <laughs> I'll go find us some glasses, huh? Help yourself. Don't go in there. Don't go in there, please. Hey, don't ever tell me what I can do. I don't know anybody, any explanations. Please, I... I'm sorry. Hey, don't you have more than one glass in here? I gotta go in now. I have to. I... I'm still your friend. Then maybe I'll see you later. Okay, friend? Okay. Are you coming? Uh, why don't you uh, come and lie down over here by me and uh, we can drink our wine out of one glass, huh? Beautiful. You know, uh, you've got a nice body, you know that, Vera? Thanks, Admiral. Come on over here and uh, we'll make ourselves comfortable. You know what I mean? Anything you say. Yeah, I gotta remember to thank Tony for your address, you know what I mean? Hey! Hey, you forgot my money. Money? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I almost forgot. Sure you did. Ten dollars, right? Come on, come on. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, hold my hat. Uh, hey, ten, ten dollars more and I uh, get another squeeze, huh? <laughs> That's all for you. Go home. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hey, wait, hey, wait, give me my hat. <laughs> bon voyage. friend of Vera's. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the kid. Uh, hey, uh, hey, kid, your friend uh, uh, Vera, she's, uh, she's pretty hot stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> she only does that because she needs the money. She doesn't like you. She hates you. Oh, yeah? Well, that's, uh, that's a pretty funny thing, you know, because, like, uh, when we were making it in bed together, I got the idea she liked me a lot. You know that? Look, she said you forgot something. I was to give it to you. I did? What? What I forget? This. Huh? Oh, you little mother. Change your mind? Decide to come for business? Well, I don't do that kind of business. Neither should you. As I told you... No, I, I know. You don't owe me any explanations. How come you're standing like that? Like what? With your hand behind your back. You don't hate me for it, do you? That I only have one hand. Why would I hate you? I don't know. Some people think it's sickening when they see someone who's not whole. Oh, no, they don't. You're being dramatic. They do. I see it in their faces. They get sick inside when they see that all I have for a hand is a hook. Well, I don't get sick. 
at all, inside or outside. And I'm not even going to ask you what happened to your hand, either. You're not? You don't care. <laughs> well, sure I care. Only, the way I see it, I figure it's your hand, your story. If you want to tell me, you'll tell me. You're a very special person, Daisy. <laughs> well, thanks. But my name's not Daisy, it's Vera. I'd like to call you Daisy, is that okay? Sure, it's okay. If you tell me why you have your hand behind your back. I, I brought you something, a present. You did? What is it? Well, well I... show me, show me. Here. Oh, you frightened me. I thought you were gonna stab me with that thing. I'd never hurt you, Daisy. Where did you get this? It's mine, isn't it? Yes. I, uh... I waited for you to finish before with the sailor. And after you went in, he... The sailor... He cut up your painting and took your painting knife. I followed him and asked him for it. Told him it was very important to you and he... Well, finally he gave it back to me. I only wanted you to have it back, Daisy, that's all. Sailor cut up my painting? Yes, I saw him with my own eyes. It was bad, very bad. Yeah, I guess he was. You should never see people like that. Like the sailor anymore. They're dangerous, very dangerous. Well, they have money. They keep me going. You know what I mean? I have money. Lots of it. I have enough money so you'd never need to see those men anymore. Sure you do, kid. No, honest, I... Well, my father's very rich. He owns lots and lots of things. Uh, farms and oil wells and machinery. We live in a big mansion with servants. I... You'd never need to take money from anybody else again except me. Look, I've heard every line in the world a dozen times each, especially that one. But I... You want to stay my friend? Yes, yes, I do. Just don't hand me any bull. You stay a nice little boy, and I'll stay Vera, who throws it down for a couple of bucks, okay? Then you'll let me come here and visit you. If you stay out of the way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I gotta go in now. You need a place to stay the night. Of course not. I told you, my father's very rich. Okay, okay. Spare me the details. Good night, friend. Good night, Daisy. I'll, I'll be back to visit you. I'll be here. Yes? Hi. Hi. What do you want? Uh, my car broke down. I need to use your telephone. I don't see any broken down car. Oh, uh, it's around the corner on, uh, Claridge. Then why didn't you go bang on some door in Claridge? What did you come all the way over here for? Well, I knocked on a few houses. Uh, some were nobody home. Others wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> I, I guess because the way I look. Or, uh, or maybe it was my one hand. Maybe they didn't want me in their houses. A cripple. Sounds like the folks in this neighborhood. You know they wouldn't give you the time of day if they owned all the clocks in the world. I guess I'd better go. 
Hey, wait a second, boy. Are you sure your car's broke down? Oh, yes, ma'am. Right around the corner. I can't get it to move. Oh, all right. Come on in. And wipe your feet. Yes, ma'am. The phone's in the kitchen. Just follow me. Yes, ma'am. Bridie Lee, who was that? What was at the door? Nothing, Miss Anatole. Just a young man who needs to use the phone. Young man? What young man? Bridie Lee? Come on. But the lady upstairs. Screw her. Come on. Oh, well, the telephone's over there. I have to get back to Miss Anatole's supper. Well, are you going to call about your car or not? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Hello, is this uh, Zimmerman's auto repair? Exactly. Yeah, let me speak to Mr. Zimmerman, please. Uh, no, I'll wait. Thank you. Uh, Zimmerman's with the customer. It'll just take a second. It'll take all day. It doesn't bother me. Bridie Lee? Bridie Lee? Oh. What is it now, Miss Anatole? The television. Come up and turn it on. But I'm doing something right now, Miss Anatole. Can it wait? My favorite shows are on now. Come up and turn this television set on. But, Miss Anatole. Right now. Oh, crap. Hey, I gotta go up and... Hey, where's you? I'm sorry, lady. I need the house. Oh, God! <laughs> Okay, dog, come with me. You're next. Good dog. It's a fine dog. Good dog, come on. Good dog. Come on. That's it.
Hello, Daisy. Hello. Are you busy? I'm waiting for someone to come over. Business? Could be. You have your hand behind your back again. What have you got now? Another palette knife? A flower. Picked from the front yard of my mansion. Picked from the front yard of my mansion. How easily you say that. Well, do you like it? Yes. Yes, very much. Well, you know, it's not a daisy. I know. But we can pretend that it's a daisy, just like we pretend that it's your name. Okay, okay, it's a daisy. You want to see my car? It's right over here. Sure, I'll see your car. Wow! I didn't know there were any of these jobs still around. Then you like it? Like it? It must be worth a fortune. I told you I was rich. I told you. And I have enough money to take care of you, and, and you never need to see those men anymore. Hold it. Hold it. Slow down. Okay. So maybe you are rich. But I never gave you the idea that I was for sale, did I? No. But I only It's a very nice car. And you're a very nice boy. But take it easy with the owning me stuff. Okay, friend? Okay. If. If. If you let me take you for a ride in my car. Oh. To show you my mansion and to show you that I really am a rich I person. got it. I got it. So this is what it's like to ride in style, huh? Fantastic, isn't it? It's a very expensive car, you know. There are only a few of them left in the whole world. No kidding. And my father owns three more, just as valuable. And where do you see the mansion? That's really expensive. It costs millions. Come on. Millions? And I've got a special surprise waiting for you when we get there. I did it all by myself, just for you. What kind of surprise? Oh, you'll see. It's the last thing I'm going to show you in the mansion. I'm saving the best for last. But you didn't even know I was coming with you today. Sure I did. That's why there's a surprise for you in the house. Don't I even get a hint? It has to do with the fact that you're such a good painter. It has something to do with my painting, and it's the last thing you'll show me in the house. Very nice. We could have big dinner parties here and invite all kinds of interesting people who don't get to come to houses like this. We could. Yes, if you'll move in here with me. Just as my friend. Oh, we'd have a lot of fun, Daisy. No. I'm rushing you. I shouldn't do that. Peace? Peace. There's sunlight in here all day long, and I uh, took out all the furniture. And I'll buy you paints and an easel and everything. Well, you'll like that, won't you? There are a lot of things in life I like, but I'll learn to do without them. <laughs> you don't listen. I've got lots of money. I can buy you everything. People belong where they belong. I'm an amateur painter who turns tricks to make the rent. That's where I belong. No. No, you don't. You're better than that. You don't need the dirty money from the sailors and the guys who touch you. It's a way of life. You, you get so used to doing things one way, it's not so bad anymore. I couldn't stay here with you. It wouldn't be my home. No. This is your home, Daisy. Look, I don't want to get cruel with you. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun seeing your house and your daddy's money. But now it's time to go. Why? 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 What's wrong with living here, huh? What's wrong with having everything you want? Money and, and food and clothes. You could be a famous painter, maybe. It's okay. You don't want to drive me home? I'll take a bus. It's okay. No, don't leave me. We're friends. Yeah. Yes, we're friends, you and I. Where are you going? To my home. This is your home. I have my own home. 
<laughs> they're in there, they'll, they'll touch you. It's okay. I don't mind. I, I like them. It, it's okay. No, you, you don't want them to touch you. <laughs> Come back here. Come back here. I've lots of friends in the neighborhood. They'll miss me. They'll come looking for me. They won't know where to look. They'll look for a little while and then they'll stop looking. And you'll be here with me. Forever and ever. Daisy. 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 No! No. You, you'll, you'll get used to it. I promise you. You'll learn to like it. No, please! <gasps> no! What'd you do that for, Daisy? I wasn't gonna hurt you. I'd never hurt you. I want to give you things. To make you happy. I want you and me to be good friends. Well, we are gonna be good friends now, aren't we, Daisy? Oh, you'll like it, Daisy. I promise you. See how peacefully you sleep here? You're getting used to it already. Now, don't you worry. I'll be back soon. I'm gonna go get you a few surprises. Oh, you'll love them when you see what I'm getting you. Don't try to get away, okay? What do you think of this? A steak. Well, who else ever bought you a steak before, huh? Nobody, that's who. And paints and an easel. An easel, how do you like that? There's more damn stuff here than you've ever seen in your life. But do you appreciate it? No. No, you don't appreciate it. Fine dresses and nice food. The best art stuff they had in their whole store. I'd like to see the sailor buy you things like this. Well, he wouldn't, would he? Huh? Woody? 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 Damn right he wouldn't. 
All he wanted to do was make you filthy. Touch you and look at you. Well, I'm not damn sorry I cut his throat for him. <laughs> oh, didn't I tell you I killed the sailor? Well, I did. I did it just for you. So we can be together, you and me. See what I do for you? I get groceries and clothes and art stuff and kill people. And do you appreciate it? No. In O. But you will. You'll learn to count on me for everything. That's it. Chew it up real good. If you don't chew your food, you'll get sick. I don't want any more. Oh, you've got to eat, Daisy. Otherwise, you'll waste away and become nothing but skin and bones. Please, I don't want any more. Eat. No. Eat, or I'll cut your tongue out of your mouth. You. Yes? I know you enjoy this food, don't you? Let's eat it. Well, keep eating. You'll learn to like it. all of this and then you'll be very happy won't you Daisy my name is Vera <clears throat> no it's Daisy it's Vera it is Daisy What's the matter? I think it's for you. I, I, well, it's not. Would you like some more to eat, my dear? No? That's too bad. It's very good. And now, Mrs. Gloria Jennings of Butte, Montana. The one on the right is definitely brighter. The colors are cleaner and brighter, too. Whiter, brighter, cleaner clothes. The laundry on the right. Well, Mrs. Jennings, let's take a look and see which best-selling wash day detergent made that happen. My goodness. That's right. It's active. Active laundry detergent did the job the other detergent left behind. Don't miss tonight's Hal Roberts show when Hal and his guests take a hilarious look at the world of fashion. That's right after the 11 o'clock news, the late night place to be. And now we return to our program, The Break of Day. It's me, Judy. Can you hear me, darling? 
Judy, please. You don't know how we're all worried about you these months. Judy, please listen to me. Don't turn away like that. Anybody home in there? Yeah. Does anybody in there want to buy any candy? I got mint and jelly and chocolate. Oh. Hey, anybody want to buy a box of candy? Anybody home in there?
Hello? I'm sorry. Wrong number. Hi. I'm home. Now you get a good night's sleep. You've had a long day today. Tomorrow you'll feel so much better. Maybe you'll paint a picture of something, too. Okay? I'll come in here bright and early, and I'll fix you a nice breakfast. And maybe I'll take you to your painting room for a while, too. Okay? We're going to start having a lot of fun around here, you and me. A lot of fun. Good night. Aren't you going to paint something? You said you'd like to paint more than anything. I don't feel like painting. Huh? <laughs> What's that? I didn't hear you, Daisy. I don't feel like painting. Why? Why not? There's paints, there's brushes, there's an easel. You never had an easel before, did you? Huh? No. I never had an easel. Well, I bet you can paint very nice pictures with an easel. All you gotta do is try, Daisy. Try. I can't. Yes, you can. I feel like a dog on a leash. I know, Daisy. I know. But soon I'll be able to trust you. And I won't have to make sure that you won't run away from me. You'll be much happier then. You'll see. Matthew, I want to go home. You are home, Daisy. You are home. No. Don't you... I'm Matthew. Who are you? Dr. Epstein, Helen Anatole's physician. Uh, she's not at home. Well, what do you mean, she's not at home? Her car's right out front. Where is she? She's... I'm her nephew. She never mentioned a nephew to me, son. Now. <laughs> Back east. What the hell are you talking about? My grandfather died. Her brother. She went back east to the funeral in Maine. And you? She asked me to come here and watch the house. <laughs> yes, sir. You're making that up. I never lie, sir. When will she be back? I'm not too sure, sir. Friday, is she here? No, sir. That's why I'm here. Bridie went with my Aunt Helen to Maine. I can't believe she'd go without informing me. She needs her arthritis shot every other day. Your aunt should know better. Well, I'm sure you understand the emergency. What with Grandpa dying and all. She was very upset. Well, I suppose I might as well... You don't mind if I look around, do you? Just for my own peace of mind. But I already told you. 
Let's start with Mrs. Anatole's room first, shall we? I've been telephoning here for three days without getting an answer, and I want to know what's happening in this house. You'd better leave right now. My aunt would be very upset if she knew I let you in here. What was that? Uh, uh, it was the dog. It was the dog in the kitchen. It sounds like it's coming from down there, for Christ's sake. Look, mister, you can't just come in here and... I want to know what's going on here. Told you you'd be sorry, didn't I, Daisy? This is all your fault. It's never have happened if you only cooperate. He would have gone home and everything would have been fine. Oh, he's dead. It's all because of you. I hope this teaches you a lesson. To try to cooperate and live nicely as my friend. I wouldn't want anything like this to happen again. Would you? Good. Me neither. See here? See? Not one word of your disappearance. Not one. We're safe. They can't find us and they don't even want to. It's just you and me, Daisy. We're free. No one will ever bother us again. Right? Right, Daisy? Hmm? Right. Right, right. Yes. Very right. Matthew? Mm hmm? Matthew, I... I haven't had a bath since I've... I've been here. Yes? Well, maybe I'd... I mean, I, I think I'd feel a lot better if I had a nice hot bath. I've been wearing these clothes a long time. Matthew? How do I know this isn't a trick? To try and get away from me? You could take all of my clothes and leave me nothing but a towel to dry with. I couldn't run away without clothes. I don't know. Well, then you could watch me while I take the bath to make sure I don't try anything. No. I don't want to. I mean... I don't think it will be necessary. All right. All right, Matthew. I don't have to take a bath. All right. Do you really want to take a bath? Yes. Please. Uh, what would it hurt if you took a bath? Right? Yes. Uh, um, you better hand me your clothes like you said you would. Don't you trust me? I... No, I don't trust you. Hand me those clothes. Sure. Vera's clothes coming up. I'm, I'm sorry to have to treat you like this, Daisy, but until I can be sure that you won't try to leave me, I have to. You understand, don't you? Of course. I understand perfectly. That's, that's good, because I... Here. Here's the rest of them. <laughs> well, take it already, Matthew. Take it. <laughs> you said you wanted the rest of my clothes. 
This is all of them. Take it, Matthew. Take it. God damn you. Poor Matthew. God damn you. <laughs> poor, poor Matthew. God damn you! Matthew? What? I'm finished. Yes? I mean... I thought you might like to know when I was done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Well? Well, what? What happens now? Now, we go back to the bedroom and, and you put on one of those things I got for you and then I tie you up again. It's your mansion. And uh, don't try to run away or anything. Who's running? Here I am, at your beck and call, Matthew. Don't make fun of me. I'm not. Isn't this what you wanted? I do everything you tell me to. I eat when you want. I sleep when you want. I'm your prisoner. Aren't you happy? I... You better put some clothes on now. Why? Don't you like me without clothes on, Matthew? It's just that... I think it's better if you get dressed now, that's all. Other men like me without clothes on. I don't like those other men. I want you to get dressed. I have to tie you up now. They like to look at me. They like to touch me. They like to make love with me, Matthew. I don't care about those other men. They're filthy, disgusting. Wouldn't you like to make love with me, Matthew? I, I... Haven't you ever made love, Matthew? Huh? You better stop this now. If we're going to live together, then we have to make love together. No, we don't. We don't have to. You said you'd provide me with everything I need. You have to provide love, too. No. No. Come on, Matthew. Don't do this. Come. We'll be friends and more. Much, much more. I'll teach you. I'll teach you, Matthew. Please. You'll see. You'll love me even more than you do now. Come. Come. <laughs> 
I, I'd better stop. No, no more. Didn't you like it? Don't you like to kiss me? Yes. Yes, I like to. I like to. See, I can't provide for you. I can't. I'll make you very happy, Daisy. Very happy. Yes. Yes. Yes, Matthew. Yes. What have you become? What's the matter, Matthew? What's the matter, Matthew? You're hurting me, Matthew. Why don't you die? Why don't you stay there and leave me alone? Leave me alone.
Thank mm-hmm. you.